So we're, we're a good bit away from cost parity. Today, we are pricing it um, at parity with conventional meat in terms of, so we're losing money on each sale today. In terms of cost, we see a path between today and the end of 2030 to get at or below the cost of meat. And there are really three main things that we need to do to get there. One is much bigger production vessels. So not even 6,000 liters, which we're installing uh, later this year, which is the largest vessel ever installed in the industry, but is still insufficient to get where we need to go. Second is our feed cost, which is called media. And the third is a measure called cell density, how much we can make in a given period of time. But we do see a path before the end of the decade to get at or below conventional chicken, pork, and beef. And what we've seen in Singapore is consumers think two things. One is they like real meat and they want to continue to eat it. And then the second is they do want to feel good about it. They want to feel like they're not contributing to something that is harmful to their body, harmful to, to the planet. And we think this has the best elements of plant-based with the best elements of that primal want that we all have to eat real animal flesh. And that's why ultimately this is going to be the meat that, be the meat that people consume. Josh, uh, let, let's bring it back to Singapore. And you part partnered with uh, restaurant Kang Eng Ki to serve cultivated chicken satay, which is a favourite amongst uh, my family. Who's next? And are you talking to the big uh, fast food chains, McDonald's, KFC, Burger King? Yeah. So next is definitely in Singapore. So um, when Singapore approved this in November... It was the first, and it continues to be the first. Um, it'll be um, additional hawker stands. We haven't selected the next hawker. It'll be uh, high-end restaurants. We deliver every week with Food Panda. We have chicken dumpling and chicken and rice dishes and chicken salad dishes. And, and you mentioned um, probably my favorite dish we served is chicken curry rice at a hawker named Mr. Luz, who's been in business for about 40 years uh, serving chicken curry, and now he he put uh, he tried out cultivated chicken, but we are in talks with fast food chains, but we just don't have the capacity right now to be able to satisfy them. So it, it's up to us to build the necessary capacity to get to a place um, sometime before the end of 24 and 25 where we can actually fulfill that demand.